to answer this issue, we had to decide on two issues. One, whether Article 370 is a temporary provision, and two, the effect of the dissolution of the Constituent Assembly of Jammu and Kashmir on the scope of powers under Clause 3 of Article 370. We have held that Article 370 is a temporary provision on a reading of the historical context in which it was included. The Solicitor General stated that the state of Jammu, that the statehood of Jammu and Kashmir will be restored except for the carving out of the Union Territory of Ladakh. In view of the statement, we do not find it necessary to determine whether the reorganization of the state of Jammu and Kashmir into two Union Territories of Ladakh and Jammu and Kashmir is permissible under Article 3. However, we uphold the validity of the decision to carve out the Union Territory of Ladakh in view of Article 3A, read with Explanation 1, which permits forming a Union Territory by separation of a territory from, an, from any state. And we direct that steps shall be taken by the Election Commission of India to conduct elections to the Legislative Assembly of Jammu and Kashmir, constituted under, Art, under Section 14 of the Reorganization Act by 30 September 2024. Restoration of statehood shall take place at the earliest and as soon as possible. We have held that Article 370 is a temporary provision on a reading of the historical context in which it was included. Article 370 was introduced to serve two purposes. First, the transitional purpose to provide for an interim arrangement until the constituent assembly of the state was formed and could take a decision on the legislative competence of the union on matters other than the ones stipulated in the instrument of accession and ratify the constitution. And second, a temporary purpose, an interim arrangement in view of the special circumstances because of the war conditions in the state. See, we have held that a textual reading of Article 370 also indicates that it is a temporary provision. For this purpose, we have referred to the placement of the provision in Part 21 of the Constitution, which deals with temporary and transitional provisions. The marginal note to the provision, which states temporary provisions in respect to the state of Jammu and Kashmir, and a reading of Articles 370 and 1, by which the state became an integral part of India upon the adoption of the Constitution. 